What would you say is the best method to help with back pain? Chiropractic, massage, physio, osteopath, surgery, meds, inversion table. There's so many options. What do you think is the best? That's true. There are a lot of options for people to pursue when they have back pain. And I think it can be confusing, especially if you've had back pain for a long time and you've tried various things. You're like, now what should I do? Or what shouldn't I have tried? Um, especially if your buddy says you should try this or your grandma says you should try that. My recommendation is to, to avoid what's causing your back pain. Is to stop doing the thing that's irritating your back. Now that probably sounds pretty obvious, but I do think it's the most overlooked thing in back pain therapies for the most part. I think most people, if you ask them, what, what are you doing for your back pain if they had back pain, they would describe something that would involve trying to get rid of the pain that they had. Very rarely do they talk about stopping doing, if that makes sense, stopping doing what is causing your back pain. So often once people have back pain, they'll be like, how can I get rid of it? I'm arguing to get rid of your back pain, you don't have to necessarily only do treatments that minimize the back pain, you also have to figure out what's causing the back pain and avoiding that pain trigger. An example I like to use is if you have a sore shin, because every morning when you wake up and you get out of bed, you hit your shin on your night table. Of course it's gonna hurt. You do that often enough and pretty soon your shin is aching like crazy. And so you're thinking, well, what can I do to get rid of my, my shin pain? And so you could, you could rub it if you want to, that would help some. You could maybe put some ice on, that would probably help. But I think you'd agree with me that probably the best thing you could do is just to stop hitting your shin on your night table. And for back pain, at least in the majority of cases that I see, it's the same thing. So people just have to find out what's causing their back pain, what their pain trigger is, and they have to avoid that pain trigger. That gives your back a chance to desensitize or calm down, gives the irritated tissue a chance to heal, and your back is soon feeling better. So I would say, don't necessarily worry so much about what exactly, if it's osteo is better than chiro, or you should do chiro instead of physio. And don't necessarily think, I need someone to fix me. What you need is you need someone to show you Maybe if you can't figure it out yourself, and it could be challenging for back pain. <laughs> you need someone to show you what it is that you're doing that's irritating your back, and then show you what you can do to stop that irritating movement or posture or whatever it is, to avoid that pain trigger, and then before you know it, your back has a chance to feel better again, and you're able to do your daily tasks. And so I always say, if, you've, if you have back pain, and you're not sure what to do, and, but no one has ever shown you, not only do you not know what to do, you're about to give up and think I gotta live with my back pain. I would say, if no one has ever shown you what you can do to avoid your back pain, then try that before you give up. And that's what we love to do here in our clinic. We love to help people figure out what it is that's causing their back pain, what their specific pain trigger is, and then show them how to avoid their pain by moving different or sitting different or whatever it might be.